All right, hello, good morning, everyone. Um, can you tell me if the audio is clear? Uh, you got a question panel on your right side. Just let me know if the audio quality is okay. Thank you, Evan. Thank you, Tap. All right, I, th I think we're ready to start. And thank you so much everyone for being here this morning. And today we have Wayne Buick from Churfi and he's gonna be the presenter for this webinar. So thank you everyone for he being here today. And Wayne, if you're ready, you can start. Okay, very good, thank you. And thanks so much for the introduction and hello to everyone. And uh, look forward to uh, visiting with you, taking your questions. The objective of the meeting today is really to briefly go through Surefy and the, the products and their value proposition to the customers, the integrators, and so I'll, uh, I'll do that and proceed forward. So, so what do we do? Is re the four things I'll cover is really what does Surefy do? Uh, what is that value proposition to the integrator? How are we unique? And then some use cases, which is really how what's the value proposition as you go forward so um, first of all uh, the, the basis for all our products is a very unique radio it's the first one designed to actually go through heavy obstruction some of you may have had some experience with the radio uh, and some of the products but let me just kind of give you an idea of what the what it does when these radios connect, a pair of these radios connect, okay, we've seen it go through amazing uh, levels of obstructions. Uh, for example, uh, connecting through 23 floors in a modern building, a uh, line of sight, which means you're up a ways from an elevation standpoint, uh, well over 50 miles. And it's also important to note that we are very heavily encrypted. This is a very, very secure link, and we do that with multiple ways, not just AES encryption, but also over-the-air keying. The other part that makes it very reliable in terms of radio is that it's a multi-path. So we actually send out signals and find the best path. And uh, some, at some point in time, when you get a demonstration, you'll see how that functions. But it, it is really ideal in very difficult environments to be able to go find that path. And the radios are designed and patented to do the things uh, mentioned here. So in all of our products, these are four of those, more to come. Each one of those has a radio. You'll notice uh, on the left-hand side of each one, uh, depending upon your screen, you may be able to see the little dots, but that is the antenna. Let me go back one and just highlight that. You notice the top of this uh, radio right here. You see the little, the little two rows of dots? That is the antenna. There's no exter external antenna needed. All of these products have got those. So they come in pairs or one to many, depending upon the application. And these are the four vertical markets that we are focused on. Wigan, which if you're in access control, is, a, is probably a mainstay. Uh, HVAC, which is a, a very interesting market because it has a one-to-many application. A relay, which is really like, like a Wigan because the Wigan has relays as well, but what we've done is built a, a, a companion product that it just does relay. And then an analog, which we'll talk about, which is really used for industrial controls. <clears throat> the, the problem we're trying to solve is connectivity. This is a very simple diagram that shows what you're trying to do to get from a controller to a door. And in the weekend world, you would run some wires. Okay, That's the problem. It's running the wires. Well, what we do is we put the Surefy bridges, one by the door and one by the controller, on the other end of the building, down in the basement, wherever it is, wherever these two endpoints are, 
all we do is just connect up the Wigan Surefy bridge to the door or to the gate or to whatever it is, and then one to the uh, one to the controller. So very simply, we're replacing all that wire. More importantly, is replacing all that work and all that money by doing a very simple connectivity. Uh, so the Wigan, Wigan Wireless Unit, which is uh, designated, as you'll notice, in green, and this is the controller side uh, of the Wigan unit. Uh, it has, as mentioned, it has both relay and Wigan protocols on the same unit. One Wigan uh, input and, and two relay inputs and outputs, wet or dry. Versus the relay, which which it doesn't have the Wigan, but has all the rest of the same features, and is ideal for applications where it's just a push button, exit to request, ex, uh, request to exit, simple gate openings, uh, boilers and chillers. We have a lot of applications, and I would invite you to go to our website, and there's videos there that talk about uh, all different types of things like even forklifts. This is really kind of a, a set of pictures to kind of give you an example of things where people have gone in. The upper picture really is, is how, would, how do you go about going into old buildings where you can't drill into walls? Well, this is ideal because we can retrofit in old buildings. Would you rather trench? Uh, or would you rather just put two Surefire bridges in and keep from all that work? Many of you have got employees that work for you. Would you rather have them trenching and digging all that or having to go rent a trencher? Or would you rather just use a bridge to go do that? So there's no need to dig. We allow that. Uh, the last picture is really a kind of an interesting one where a customer had uh, wanted to be able to control their forklifts. And uh, we just connected it right to their controller at their building. And now every time the the employee needs to use it, only authorized employees would be able to use the forklifts, and they just use their normal credentials that they would use for entering a building. A few other applications. This is one uh, uh, the upper left had the Sinclair Oil, where they had a wiring go bad in an elevator. We were able to replace the wiring for the elevator. Uh, the other pictures are kind of uh, municipalities where they're trying to give access to places instead of handing out keys they now just use their credentials and they use Wigan and we connect over multiple different places within a given city uh you know uh, in this particular situation it happened to have been miles so a little bit about the the cube and the mobile application uh, demonstration if if you if you look at this this is the picture you saw before and there is an interface, a Bluetooth interface, to each of these modules. So if you want, after you've hooked it up and you're having someone had difficulty or trying to see what's happening in the system, you can hook up using your phone. We have a Bluetooth application. And so part of the solution is not just to replace the wiring. Part of the solution is to help you do the job that you have before you. And that's what our mobile application does. Uh, when you visit one of the uh, uh, FCOM facilities, you'll be able to uh, see some demonstration equipment and be able to go play with it there um, uh, when you get an opportunity. So HVAC is the, the next area. This has uh, eight 24-volt relays, expandable 64. Uh, your controllers are one to eight. So the, the perfect application for this is in a warehouse. If you're wiring up the thermostats in a warehouse to eight different units on the roof, typically you'd be running eight sets of wires. In this situation, you could run, you could hook one of the Surefire HVAC bridges to the thermostat, and then one to each one of the controllers or the HVAC units on the roof, and one thermostat without any wiring can run up to eight. HVAC units that are on the roof. Interesting enough, even though it's, we call it HVAC unit, 
we have now found irrigation applications, alarms and sensor applications where they're doing one to many. And so we're beginning to find more and more applications for this particular product. So this is a heat pump example where you have actually two channels that go two that are bi-directional. Uh, using the thermostat and using the HVAC, the HVAC product. Uh, or one multiple where you can do one to eight and, and do it in a broadcast mode. So the differentiation between this one is the two way uh, to air handlers and heat pumps versus one way actually out to uh, one to eight that you can actually broadcast out to. There's different applications and different requirements, so we've built some different functionality based on the application. Uh, the the, the uh, last product I'll review is the analog product. Uh, many of you may be working in building automation systems. Building automation systems are expanding greatly. It's a it's a very large part of the market and mar an opportunity for where Surefy can help you get the job done. You'll notice this device on the right, and you'll also notice that we have the analog, the Surefy analog device at the bottom. Uh, now, it, this is sometimes referred to as a, as a Jace, okay, uh, or in some some respects is just a, is a PLC, Programmable Logic Controller, and the analog, the Surefy analog device. Uh, can do controls from 0 to 10 volts and 4 to 20 milliamps. Very common for opening dampers, uh, controlling valves. Uh, it has thermistor inputs. So it's really a very ideal opportunity for more of a, a, a technically challenged environment. But this is the way, what, way building automation systems are moving. They're getting more and more complex because they're trying to put these systems together. Surefy has a way to be able to do that and eliminate the wire and eliminate a lot of the costs associated with wiring. So what is the value proposition now to the integrators? Well, first of all is, is, is we believe in uh, all the situations that we've been involved with that our, our integrators that we work with really save a lot of time and a lot of expenses associated with actually completing their jobs. And time is the big is the big element, but then there is some other expenses like you don't have wire, conduit, but you got the time associated with that. Our our integrators dig very few holes anymore. And even if it's a short run of 10 feet, they don't get the shovel out. They just do it wirelessly. And they do it reliably. So it allows them to be able to not only complete jobs quickly, but win more jobs because they can be more competitive for the guy that does want to do a lot of trenching or, or prefers the bid trenching. So uh, it, it's, a, it's a confidence level you have with the product. But uh, here's another really important point, and we, got, we had this come across through a, an integrator in Las Vegas. Who, when he realized that he had lost a lot of jobs because of the extra costs associated with with trenching, he went back to his dead files and picked up 60% of those files because he did he could go back and say he could take that those thousands of dollars of trenching off off the off the table and have, had an opportunity to go win that business. So uh, what you will have an opportunity to get is is a set of what we call our, our V-Val kit, our painters. And these are two little radios. You probably recognize that from the initial picture. But this allows you to be able to go do testing in the field. So if you want to see if we connect, you turn these on, you hit the button, and it, it allows you to be able to, be able to, to do your testing right in right in the field. Uh, we have a whole new set of products, and you'll notice again the radio is on the left, and the the functionality or the connectivity is on the right. The Relay Pro Pro is a uh, uh, has eight relays, and we have an Access Pro, which is expanded out with with Wigan and Relay, and then we have a serial data function 
serial data unit, which has an RS-232-485 on it. It's an ideal platform, especially for those who need some kind of a, a semi-custom product. And we built this platform, the serial data product, as a platform that we can expand to new products and uh, look forward to speaking to you about those as well. So just in review, the integrator is really key to, uh, to the success here, helping him be more productive, helping him to be more profitable. We, are, we, we Surefy are unique in this respect because we have all of our products are patented. So you aren't going to find them any other place. Uh, and Surefy is the only one to be able to go offer these. And we are, un we are unique in terms of being able to go provide those and be able to provide those in a, a very productive way. It helps the integrator be not just productive, but also more profitable and more competitive. That's the end of the presentation. I'll pass the baton back to you. Yes. Hello. I don't know if Hi. we got any questions by uh, anyone. Uh, we also got Javier. Uh, he's also helping us with the technical support. So if anyone have a question or a project, uh, please send us through the panel to the right side of your screen, and we'll be happy to answer that. So let, let me uh, just add a few other comments if I can, if that's OK. Yes, yes, sure. We still got plenty okay. of time. Okay, so let, let me just, uh, I'll go to, into the additional resources slide. Uh, so one of the things that I would like everyone to know is the fact that we have a SureFi mobile app. It, you can get it from the Apple Store or Android Store, okay? And what that does is by downloading this free app, you put it on your phone, and then when you go up to a product, you'll notice the QR code that's on the left, lower left-hand side of the unit. You then can click on that code with the app, and it opens up uh, an app on the phone and gives you not only instructional videos and information on the product, but it also opens the door that you can also now go right in and see where your firmware is updated. It actually looks into the unit in real time tells you how much uh what your configuration is your power levels for example in case you don't have the power connected and you don't have enough volts in it it'll tell you that and just here's a few screens that will uh, give you an idea of what it is that can be done so for example uh here's your operating values so you can see what your operating values are on each of your relays and successful tries you can look at your controller configuration on each of the relays. But you can do this in real time on your phone in the field and allows you to be able to go do and look at this kind of information. Uh, it also gives you access to technical specs in case you have some other questions. Uh, it gives you wiring diagram information. So in case you need to check your wiring, you can look at all this again in real time. Uh, and it gives you key diagnostics. So you can actually look at that. So this is the kind of information that's available to you, not just you know, reading some manual or some piece of paper. This is available to you in real time on your phone at the site to help you solve problems in addition to uh, the customer support that we have through our 800 number. OK, uh, back to you. Thank you, Wayne. Uh, we got three questions. Um, Tab is asking us about having multiple Wigan bridges right next to each other. Is there any issue with that? Uh, great question. We have as many as 60 next to each other in our building where we've done testing and we've had no problem. Thank you, Wayne. We, we got another question about this question is from Philip. Um, 
I saw that there was a mention about the Bluetooth connectivity, but there is support for remote management in environments where there is a Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Yeah, so the, the Bluetooth, uh, so let me just give you the architecture of how we connect to it. So if you were in the field and you connected to the uh, Surefire bridge using Bluetooth on your phone, we, with your permission, uh, we could then connect through the web, either through the cell phone connection or through a Wi-Fi, but we would do that through your phone. And then that request would come back to our customer service, and then they would be able to go look with your permission, look through your phone and look into the unit that you're actually working. So Wi-Fi is the connectivity, is one way to connectivity. It could be GSM or or some other cell phone connection that would allow us to be able to support you in doing that. If you're only doing it by yourself, the Bluetooth is the connection. Does that help, Phil? Thank you, Wayne. One last question also from Philip. Uh, it's about the bandwidth. So he's asking us if it, this can be used to connect a CCTV system as well, such as PTC or any camera. Uh, okay, so the band the bandwidth on this is somewhere between 300 and 600 bits per second. So a, a camera is not a good application. Camera control, though, is. So uh, we have we're using it for camera control only, but not camera data from the camera. Thank you for the question, Phil. Thank you, Wayne. Well, that was the last question. Uh, I don't know if anyone else uh, might have a question about a project or any other question about the webinar, and we'll be happy to answer it. We've still got plenty of time. Well, I, I'm uh, interested in knowing, uh, it, was the information we provided uh, was it helpful? Does that help you run your business? If there's some uh, responses on that, I'd appreciate it. Thank you, Evan. Well, we're going to be sending this information to your email. We're going to be sending the presentation as well as the recording of this webinar. So we're still having a few questions, Wayne. Let me let me send these questions to you. Okay. Philip is asking us about the if these if these uh, products are ideal for legacy applications. Uh, I'm not sure legacy applications. If did you want me to answer that? Yeah, I don't know if you got an answer for that one. Ah, uh, actually, I do. Uh, if you look at legacy applications, and we've We've defined a lot of the legacy being Wigan, relay, or voltage control, or current control. That's the, the reason we came with those, those products first, Wigan, relay, and analog, was because we found that it, it covers such a large base of the, uh, of the market. People are, Wigan is, of course, the standard 80% of the market in terms of access control kinds of things. But if it's not weakened, it probably is relay. The third area has to do with analog, which is uh, 0 to 10 volts and 4 to 20 milliamps. People are trying to control opening partially a vent or something like that. We, When we did analysis in the market, we found that those really hit a large piece of existing infrastructure 
existing systems. Uh, a lot of the new systems are more used by or controlled by PLCs and JSES, which we can interface face to, and we have done that. But by far, we can relay and voltage and analog, uh, voltage and current controls are a much. It's a much bigger piece of the legacy. Thank you, Wayne. Great answer. Well, I don't know if anyone else might have a question to to send us. And if not, we're going to be sending this recording um, to your email. And thank you so much for being part of this webinar, EPCOM webinar this morning. And thank you, Wayne, for the great presentation. And if no one else got anything else to, to ask, uh, we're going to end this webinar. And thank you so much, everyone. And thanks so much, Wayne, for being this morning here with us. Yep, thank you very much, and I'll get the presentation to you straight away. Thank you so much.